Yo, yo, 16 Beats founder of mastermixing.com here. And today, in this short video, I'm just going to be talking about how you can blend your 808 and kicks nicely, um, how to level them good together, and also how you can sidechain them. Um, now, just for what sidechaining is, what sidechaining actually does is it, let's say you sidechain the kick to the 808. What the 808 will do is, whenever the kick hits, the 808 will um, it will become flattened for like a millisecond. It will it will basically um, become silent for for a few seconds or a second um, while the kick hits, and then as the kick finishes, the 808 comes back um, comes back in. So that's what side chaining is, and that's useful when mixing them because it stops it from getting muddy when you have a kick and 808 clashing together. Um, it makes the 808 sound more clean um, and it makes the kick and 808 sound really good together so let's get into that just before that though a quick little tip what I like to do is EQ my 808 um, with a low cut filter with not, not too sharp more um, open than sharp and then I do that to about 30 hertz and then what I'll do with the kick is I'll do it also with not a too not a too narrow slant, with more of a wide slant. I'll do this to about 45. So what that does is it already gets rid of some of the frequencies. It clears some of the frequencies out of the kick, not many, but just some out of the kick, um, and allows some of the weight frequencies um, to rise. Actually, what I'm going to do for this example, just so it's a bit more evident, is on the kick make the EQ more narrow so it's taken more of these frequencies here this is all for the 808 all right so once that's done i've just got a little beat here um that i threw together quickly um i'm just going to play the intro for you to listen to how the kick and the 808 sounds right now without any side chain but um of course with the with the eqing So that's the kick and the 808. Um, they already sound quite decent together. Of course, they're already pitched. Like you can see in my other videos about pitching kicks and 808. Um, they're pitched together. So it works. Um, it could even be left like this. But if you did want to side chain and just bring it to that extra level, what you're going to want to do is insert a compressor, any compressor of your choice, because the vast majority of them will have a side chain option. Um, insert a compressor onto your 808 bus or your 808 channel strip then you're going to in the side chain section you're going to want to select the kick um you're going to want to have a very a lightning fast attack so that literally as the kick is hitting the compressor is getting active um the release is what you play about with so you go by a with the release i'll just start with the default of 50 and then of course you know the compressor slot um not works this is basically activating more compression more compression or in this case more side chaining more side chaining so for example in this case the the deeper i pull this is the more it's gonna it's the more room of the 808 is gonna move out of the way for the kick to hit and it's also gonna take longer for the 808 to come back after it's been silenced yeah so i'm just gonna play it again and i'm gonna just experiment with this knob just to show you the different um different outcomes My apologies, I don't know why. Ah, my bad, the ratio. Um, I like to go with a nice strong ratio. Whenever I'm doing any sort of um drums with compression, I always like to go for a strong ratio of about 3.99 3 or 4 to 1, basically. All right, let's try that again. So you, so do you hear when it's, when it's compressed or when it's side chain really hard, that 808 is taking a long time to come back, so it's sounding terrible. So you want to find a sweet spot between between the amount of compression and the sweet spot between the release. Um, I'm actually going to drop the release to about 30 and go from the top. Let's see how that sounds. OK, 
Okay, so I quite like that. Um, I feel like it gives the kick enough room that there's still a nice hit with the 808, but that the 808 is not lagging too far behind it. So I'm just going to let the intro play into the main chorus and see how I feel about that. how the 808 sounding um you know it's just, it's one of those subtle things but it makes a difference in the overall what i'm going to do now is just um play the intro again um just bypassing and unbypassing the compression or the side chain and see if you can tell the difference so first without the compression now with compression It's just it's just a bit cleaner like the hit is more more um on the hit it's more punchy of an 808 and therefore the 808 is more controlled and less muffled than when it's uncompressed that was compressed see it's got a more of a punchy hit so that's how you mix your 808s and your kicks with a bit of side chaining you can do this with pretty much any compressor on any daw so i hope this has been a helpful video um Stay tuned for more content. Um, look out for my course, my ultimate mixing and mastering course um, coming soon. It will be in the description as soon as it's out. Um, it's not something to miss. Like it, will, it will just has so much great information in it. But hopefully this video has helped. Have a good day. Peace out.